wind out here is brutal. Really, really bad. Bridge onto West Frontage Road. All right, it's Monday morning. Good morning. We're in Stanton, Texas, West Texas. We're gonna we loaded over in um, uh, Panama City on Friday. We got to do and deliver our air conditioners down in uh, Odessa because we got 26, 25 air conditioners. You remember, I was loading out in the rain. So you can see how many there are there. Dorsey trailer. He's been riding in all that rain. Still pretty clean. Dorsey trailer's holding up good. It is super windy out here. But we've missed the cold weather, or most of the cold weather. It's a little chilly, but you see how I put the twist in the straps. Knock on wood, truck's been doing pretty good. New little generator is doing good. And Bailey's ready to go. From right here, we got about 45 minutes to go deliver these. They're going to a county building facility, so it should be fairly easy. Let this guy back in here. To deliver these, we got a haul butt over to El Paso, Texas. We're gonna we gotta be there by 3:30. Alright, I think we're ready now. But we're gonna gain an hour because El Paso is on mountain time.
here we got about two and a half miles. unloaded that went pretty quick about 30 minutes less than that uh let's see here i'm getting ready to send in my paperwork we uh take a picture of our paperwork send it in yeah, so i can get paid let that upload um we got uh oh, i punched it in how many far is it oh, about four hours over to el paso it is 9 15 here 8 15 in el paso and actually our appointment's not till 3 30 i got a late appointment because i didn't know 
how long this was going to take. All right, paperwork got sent in. We're good to go. tailwind on our way out of El Paso. Alright, let me get some burritos and we'll get over there and get loaded. Alright, we made it over here to El Paso or Clint, Texas. We're uh, backed in, waiting to get loaded. I don't know if you can see the wind. The wind's blowing that way, and I need to throw my straps that way. So instead of when we get done turning around and backing in, that's where you strap down. It's right there. I'm gonna pull straight up. That way, the wind will help throw the straps over. Otherwise, I'll be throwing into the into the wind. So I've had to deal with that before. But all right, let's get this loaded, and then we're gonna try to uh, get back over to Texas. There's a big rest area, the big rest area I was talking about. We got. Uh, let me let me check here. We still got. 
five hours and 40 minutes left on our 11 hour clock. So uh, we'll fight the wind, drive as far as we can. All right. It's the end of the day. No. We made it over here, back over near Odessa. We got loaded. We had a nice tailwind coming back or heading east today this morning man we had a headwind I burned up a bunch of fuel uh, the only weird thing I had happen to the truck was uh, well two things I didn't have no heat and then all of a sudden I had heat so I'm gonna have to keep a track the way that Peterbilt heat works there's an actuator door that uh, lets the hot air in so it's not really a valve that uh, lets the uh, coolant flow through that actuator might be messing up is what the problem the other thing is you remember I guess it was before Christmas and I popped the little breaker I showed you where I popped that breaker and I said something shorten it out I figured out what it is it's the air cleaner lights those lights that I don't like that are on the air cleaner uh, those are causing a short. I figured that out actually a couple nights ago. But we're in this big rest area. Hang on one second. Take that light off so you can see. We're at this big rest area here near Odessa. Got lots of truck parking. I was coming east when I left El Paso. And there's been a lot of truck traffic on the road heading east. And I was like, man, where are all these trucks coming from? And then I remembered I-40 up in Arizona and New Mexico got a lot of snow. And what happens is all those California trucks will head south and then cut across. Uh, so we're going to run I-20. And, and to look at the map, I'll talk about it tomorrow, but we're going to run uh, 20 all the way over to Meridian get them 49 highway 49 run that down the mobile and then get uh, down on 10 instead of running 10 straight across that way I'm not dealing with San Antonio I'm not dealing with Houston I'm not dealing with Beaumont um, all that I-12 across Louisiana I miss all of that the only little bit I have to deal with is about 100 miles of Dallas Fort Worth so and it's only 60 miles further to go the way I'm going. Alright, that's it. I'm hungry. Bailey's hungry. It's been a long day. We drove 530 miles today. So we're done. Alright, thanks for watching.